Hi guys, welcome back. So we're back today for some more Champions League action. A big test against Manchester United in the group stage. But first let me show you what's been happening between episodes. We've played a few matches. It's been going okay. First a 1-1 draw at home to Roma. We went 1-0 down really early on to a Tammy Abraham goal. And it looked like we were going to lose. But then in the 91st minute, Rivero popped up with the equaliser to rescue a point and keep us unbeaten in our new stadium. We followed that up a few days later with a really good win against a good Napoli team. A 3-0 win. Jabua with opening the scoring with a chip from outside the penalty area lobbing the goalkeeper. A really nice goal. Ahmed Hodzic and then Belotti with I think his first goal for the club. And most recently a 2-2 draw away to Lazio. And not a bad draw considering we were down to 10 men after 15 minutes. Alexis Blin getting two early yellow cards. Belotti put us ahead though. And we were doing really well, but then they turned it around and went 2-1 up and it looked like we were going to lose. But then Amasuchi popped up with an equaliser late on against his parent club. So all in all, not a bad draw considering we had 10 men. But we are back today then for this big Champions League game, away to Manchester United, a really big test for us. Started really well, didn't it, with that, one, with that uh, win against Bayern Munich in the last episode, the 3-0 win. Couldn't have asked for a better start there. But I think the away matches in particular are going to be difficult against Man United and Bayern. So I think this is the team we're going to go with for this game. Karnasetri in goal. Back four of Takuna, Bashao, Ahmed Hodzic and Simikas. I am going to play Alexis Blin against my better judgement. Next to Jabua. Then G Zagovic and Pashev behind Amasuchi. Pierre and Tony not quite fit enough for this one, I don't think. Really wish I had nine subs available. Right, let's get into it then. So, how good is their team then? Still got Wan Bissaka knocking around. Luke Shaw still there. Julian Vogel. Bruno Fernandes still there. Chiesa is a good player. Rashford and Makoko are going to be a big threat, especially with the pace in behind. Need Bashout and Ahmed Hodzic to be on the game especially. So let's show everyone what we're capable of. I know we can put in a good performance, we're just really inconsistent. Be good to see how we match up against a really good team. United are always strong in FM. So the first hole that's going to be then with the ball then, playing out from the back. Vogel finds Stendardo. Rashford that's playing out here on this right side, which is interesting. Would expect him either up front or on the left. Fernandez gets the ball out to him now. Rashford turns and goes inside to Stendardo, back to Vogel. Fernandez, we're going to need to keep Fernandez quiet with picking the passes, although it's blaring behind Makoko. Big save from Karnasetchi, and we're playing about with the risky football in our own box, and we do eventually get rid of it. Early scare there, we mentioned Makoko's pace, getting him behind. She noted playing out here, we are putting a bit of a press on. Can we win it back? They go long, we should deal with this, and Simikas gets there first. Ahmed Hodzic into Blin. Finds Bashar. He sends the ball forward, it's just aimless though. Don't know what he's doing there. Luke Shaw finds Fernandez. Fernandez hits an early ball. Kiesa's in behind. Takuna's getting back at him. Goes back to Fernandez. Vigal into Kiesa in the box. Makoko slots in. I think he's onside. As I suspected, the pacing behind is causing the biggest problems. Have to see how it goes, but I might have to drop the defensive line a bit deeper. I don't really want to invite more pressure though, and we are getting some shots away, which is good to see. Bashao deals with that, finds Blin. A bit of a hopeful ball forward to Pashev. 
and they get it to Makoko again. Makoko running past Bashai, but Makoko, big save from Karnasetri, gets it behind for a corner. I'm not even sure that's a defensive line issue, that's just Makoko dribbling past our players there. We couldn't stop him. Fernandez with the resulting corner, and Kiesa heads it wide. Just going to encourage. Into Zagovic and G and Masucci. Can we build something now? And G had a quiet start to love here at Victor San Marino. Blin fending off the opponent. Needs a bit of help. Finds Zagovic. Amasuchi from range. Off the post. And the keeper is fortunate. It doesn't hit him and go in. Hits him and goes behind for a corner instead. Zagovic will go over to take. We'll be aiming for Ahmed Hodzic. Ahmed Hodzic catches his head on it and finds the back of the net. And we're level at Old Trafford. Ahmed Hodzic a big danger from these set pieces. Zagovic in towards that near post. Ahmed Hodzic, all six foot five of him. A real handful. That's a really good header to get us level. And we're straight into a kickoff highlight, which I'm not sure is particularly good news. They send it forward and Bashar should deal with it. Gets it back to Karnasek, she goes long. No one there for us though. Weigel, Rashford, Wampasak is on the overlap. Thankfully it's a poor ball and we do get it away. And G getting past his opponent here. Can he find a pass? He's tackled. Now we're out of position. Makoko's in behind. Misses the target. Another let off. Makoko's already got one. He could have had a couple. Pachau here. Good ball out to Takuna. Doesn't take the ball with him though. Luke Shaw intercepts. Out to Rashford. Wambasaka now. Looks for that ball in behind. Good interception from Armored Hodzic. Now and G into Amasuchi. As we look to build. And G. Jabua through from his field. Jabua! Oh, off the bar. A rasping effort from Jabua there. He does make a lot of those runs from midfield. Chips in with a few goals. He really should have got another one there. Fernandez, Stendardo's in behind here, forced wide. Back to Wambasaka. Stendardo's in the box, don't foul. Low cross. Oh, and Karnasechi spills it, and Makoko falls in his second of the game, and we're behind again. Karnasechi hasn't covered himself in glory here. Should really hold this, I think. Low cross from Stendardo, yeah, and Karnasechi's got to hold that. And after a few good saves keeping us in the game, a bit of a mistake there from the keeper. We've been competitive though, which is good to see. Okay, so we're going into half time 2 1 down. Still right in this game. We've had a higher XG as well, more shots. We've mainly seen their whole lot, but we've had two big chances. I'm going to say we've been unlucky, try and keep the team motivated, keep the spirits up. I've noticed with these matches every few days that the players are always tired every match now. First hole of the second half starts with us at the back. Zagovic on the turn now. Takuna running into space. Through ball, Amasuchi forced wide. Amasuchi, oh the keeper. Spreads himself well there. It's a tight angle, always going to be a big ass to score. Good play all round though. Zagovic with his corner. Ahmed Hodzic heads over. Another big chance for him. Going to have to look at some substitution soon, I think. Got another corner though. Zagovic. Ahmed Hodzic. Oh, and it's going to be a breakaway, I think, here. Fernandez. Ball in behind. We should deal with it, and we do. Has Karnasechi's distribution. Throws it out to the right back. Ahmed Hodzic now. Two centre backs keeping it at the moment. Zagovic with a forward pass now. And G. Amasuchi. Amasuchi. Slots it in under the keeper. And that's 2 2. What a game this is turning out to be. End-to-end -end stuff, 
and we're more than holding our own here against good opposition really promising signs and G with a really good assist there and really cool from Amasuchi takes it sort of round the keeper just enough to get the angle slots it under him they've got a corner now there Bruno Fernandes whips it in and Luke Shaw of all people wins the header in our box and we find ourselves 3-2 down really disappointing to go behind from a set piece I think Luke Shaw hasn't really got a marker there we'll make some subs now just over 20 minutes left Pashev's had a pretty quiet game get Rivero on Jabua important player for us but we need him fit get our skillton on there and I think nil at right back a bit more energy getting forward on the overlap what's going to encourage but rinse another highlight Fernandez forward to Wambasaka forward from right back into the box drags it wide and it stays 3-2 I'm back with this throwing now into Ravella. Stendardo back to Wan Bissaka. Bruno Fernandez, Stendardo. Makoko linking the play. Ravella goes forward to Makoko. Fernandez, there's that play making that from him there. Wan Bissaka into the box again. And thankfully, yet again, he drags it wide causing problems getting forward from right back I think maybe the last 10 minutes we go attacking it's a shame we haven't got another sub I'd like to bring Belotti on as well a skill turn out to NG into Zagovic Nil trying to get forward on the overlap but Rashford deals with it unfortunately short now to Rashford balling behind to Danilo into the penalty area Danilo and that's 4-2 that will put the game beyond us, I think. Not the best play there from the substitute nil at right back. Didn't win the ball on the overlap and then it left us exposed at right back. Bashar couldn't recover and Danilo with a good finish, unfortunately. Will encourage again, but probably not enough time to get anything out of this one. It'd be quite unjust if they went and made it five now. Fernandez in towards Vlahovic, who they must have put on at some point. Zagovic gets it away, but it's going to probably come back. Luke Shaw now. Rashford goes past nil. Shouldn't be happening that easily. Rashford into the box, and Karnasechu gets a strong can to tip it over. Nil the right backs. Not come on and done very well here. And Makoko. Wins a header from the set piece, and that is 5 2. Really unjust, I think. We don't deserve this. Who's number 17? Ahmed Hodzic losing out to Makoko, really? He's an area anyway. Right, and that's full time then. I think in terms of the overall gameplay, we held our own, went in, went toe to toe with them, real end to end game. But just some poor defending light on cost us. It wasn't a 5 2 game though. I'm going to say you gave it your best efforts. And I've annoyed the whole team. Right, so I think that's it for this episode, just another short one. Disappointing to lose, but I think there were some promising signs in the game that we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the good United team for most of the game. I think I'm going to play on quite a bit now, I really need to get the season going. Might go to sort of November, December time. I'm aware that I'm not getting through this season particularly fast, especially, so yeah, I really need to crack on with it. Right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.